We're looking to write these distances um, in actual words, okay, because occasionally you might have to write them down. So what I've done, a little table in blue down here, okay, and I'm going to write these numbers in there first of all. So I'm going to do 2,987. Now I'm going to start from right to left because this goes from right to left. All numbers, the place value is from the decimal point, and with a whole number, the decimal point is at the end. So I'm going to do 7, 8, 9, 2. All right, so I've got two thousands, nine hundreds, eight tens, and seven ones. So that's going to be two thousand. And then I'm going to put a comma there, uh, nine hundred. Okay. And between hundred and the tens, we normally put an and. Okay, eight tens, eight tens we call eighty, don't we? and then we got the seven at the end. Okay, quite a long number, but there you go. Now the next one, again, I'm gonna go from right to left. You'll notice there's commas in here. That it, that's a bit of a British thing. Some calculators do it, some calculators leave a bit of a gap. So just be aware of that, depending on what calculator you've got. Um, you, you just have to get to know your calculator a little bit there. Right, so one, four, zero, one, one, four, zero, one. Okay, now this one's a bit more interesting because we've got 1,000, we've got no hundreds, we've got four tens, and we've got one one or one unit. So here we go, 1,000, 1,000. Now do you remember when we had the hundred up here, we put an and between the hundred and the ten? Well, there aren't any hundreds, so I'm actually gonna stick the and between the thousand and the ten this time. Four tens are called 40, as you well know, and then there we go, there's the one, so 1,041. So we've got to have the and in there before we get to the last bit. It's before the tens, basically. Right, last one. We've got the six, we've got zero, we've got nine, we've got zero again, and we've got eight. Now, where the commas work quite nicely here is that's 80. So 80,000, eight lots of 10,000, 80,000. So 80,000, 80,000. Okay, so like the tens, the ten thousands works the same. We've got no thousands, we've got nine hundreds, so I'm going to put a comma, nine hundreds. And then we've got to put our and in, haven't we? And then there's no tens and six. There we go, done. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.